So, ladies and gentlemen, last meeting we were done with the types of explosives and uh, its effects. So, we will be dealing now with the ammunition. We will be reviewing the types of ammunition. So, the course objective is to understand and apply the general and technical information related to military ammunition, demolition materials to include characteristics, specific data, means of identification, safety precautions in handling and uses. So, the scope of the module is to offer, uh, is, uh, includes the following. Operational terminologies. Classification of ammunition, identification of ammunition, care, handling, and preservation of ammunition. So, definition of terms. Military ammunition. These are materials that consist of explosives or chemical agents with their characteristics, mechanical devices designed for use against military objectives diba? so used for military purposes or used to attain military objectives directed against military targets or enemies so that's your military ammunition it also is a specially designed container filled with an explosive chemical agent or a combination thereof which is propelled from a weapon placed, thrown, dropped, guided including the initiating and or detonating elements necessary for the completion of the desired effect and or explosion. So we have here the small arms. Ammunition normally fired from rifles, pistols, machine guns, and small automatic canyons, such as the 20mm canyon. The ammunition falls within a range from caliber 22 to 30 millimeters. Before the, de the definition for small arms are any ammunition less than 1 inch in diameter. Diba? So, lahat yun, small arms, less than in diameter. Uh, less 1 inch diameter. So, mga caliber 45, caliber 38, 9mm, pang pistol, those are small arms. 5.56, 5, 6.72, for rifles, still categorized as small arms. Diba? So, what's the uh, deciding factor to determine whether or not the ammunition is considered a small arms or artillery? The diameter. So, if it has one inch or more, we call that ammunition an artillery. If it has a diameter of one inch, uh, less than one inch, I mean, we call it a small arms. So, small arms, ladies and gentlemen, is divided into two. No, into three. Isama na natin yung shotgun gauges, di ba? Shot shells. So, we have here, first on the list is for pistols. Second is for rifles. And third is shot shells for the shotgun, di ba? Those are all categorized as small arms. Your, uh, let me do that again. Your, let me, your uh, pistols are classified as handguns, diba? So aside from pistols, we also include the revolvers. So these two, the pistols and revolvers are class, are categorized as handguns. And your rifles are categorized as Shoulder arms, diba? Shoulder arms. Yeah. So, all of those, again, are small arms. So, these are ammunition for 
rifles. Diba? So, ball, armor piercing. So, when we say armor piercing bullet, these are bullet that can be uh, that can penetrate weapons or metals, di ba? Kaya nga siya armor piercing, di ba? Matigas yung bakal, pwede siyang tumagos. So, the material here contains tungsten, yan to. Matigas na bakal, tungsten. Armor piercing with incendiary effect. So, ganyan ang kulay niya, white tip. Ah, hindi. Anti. Yan. So, we have the INC, PR, high pressure test. We have here the blank bullet. So, yan. Pagka pinasabog, sasab puputok lang, pero walang balang lalabas. Di ba? Ang dami naman, meron siyang Meron siyang bullet, but it does not have a black powder. Okay? So, that's the difference between your blank ammunition and your dummy ammunition. So, your dummy ammunition has a bullet and has a shell, cartridge case, but it does not contain gunpowder. Unlike your blank ammunition, it has a cartridge case, it has a black powder, but it doesn't have a bullet. So, HPT stands for High Pressure Test, AP for Armor Piercing, Tracer Bullet, and Dummy Bullet. This is how your Dummy Bullet usually looks like. So, meron siyang uh, press portion. So, your Tracer Bullet orange tip. We call it a tracer bullet because when this ammunition, uh, when this bullet is projected on the tail of this bullet, it has a burning orange orange colored flame yeah, which enables eyes to see where the bullet is going through. Where the bullet is Heating. Diba? Kaya siya tracer bullet. We see us we usually see tracer bullet in machine guns. Okay? In machine guns. And it is usually defaultly arranged per 5 rounds. So, in every 5 rounds. So, let's say for example, the first ammunition in a mach machine gun link ammunition. Diba? Nakalink kasi yung ammunition ng machine gun. Diba? Hindi siya magazine type. Nakalink type siya. So, the first, let's say for example, is a tracer bullet. Tapos, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Diba? So, the fifth bullet, again, will be armor piercing. Yan. So, in every five counts, it is an armor piercing. Na. A tracer bullet, I mean, a tracer bullet. In every five rounds. So, another example of a blank bullet here. A match, ball frangible, dummy inner load, and a duplex. It is not, this, this one here is not a rifle grenade. Ibang itura ng rifle grenade. Diba? Mas malaki ang rifle grenade which is attached on the muzzle of the rifle. Yan. So, ang mangyayari dyan, meron siyang parang tip dito na pagka yun nauntog sa solid object, sa sabog. It does not look like this. Hindi rifle grenade yan. This is a plain blank ammunition. So, caliber 50 munition. So, we were done with small arms. Now, let's discuss artillery. So, artillery, again, 
uh, those ammunition with a diameter of more than one inch or one inch or more. Ammunition in this group includes that which is fired from large cannons from 37 millimeters up to 8 inches howitzer. So this is how it looks like. So those are artilleries. Yeah, so artilleries. So artilleries. This one's here. If found, let's say for example, if found on a desert on a particular area, we can call it oxu, di ba? Unexploded ordnance. Yung mga supposedly pinasabog ng World War II na hindi sumabog. We also have here grenades. There are two basic types of grenades. We have the hand grenade and rifle grenades. The hand grenades also has uh, two types, di ba? There is also a combination of hand and rifle grenade which is, uh, which is fired from a rifle type launcher. And so we have the hand grenade, the artist type, and then dito? fragment type. And smoke grenades, okay. And we also have here the rifle grenades. Ito yung mga tsura ng rifle grenades. Ito yung nilalagay sa tip nung sa, sa muzzle ng firearm. Yan to, tsura dapat. Okay. So usually, the, initiate, the initiate, initiator is on the tip of this rifle grenade. So ito, pagka tumama sa solid, sa sabog. Yan. So, this one's below are grenade launchers. So, yan. So, ito naman yung binabala sa M207. So, to M207 is a combination of a grenade launcher and an M16 rifle. We also have pyrotechnics. These munitions are used for signaling, illuminating, and simulating. They include flares, yan. So, when you say flares, nakakasilaw, di ba? It produces lights. Smokes, and light signal. It also has flash and noise simulator. So, these are the parts. We have here A, the shipping plug. Or shade retainer, and so we say cover. We also have here the, ah uh, no, B stands for shade retainer support. Shade retainer support, yan so so yung umawak sa sa cover, sa initiator. We also have the rib retainer, C. Yan. So this ones, the stem. Where the explosive material is, the lower spacer, echo, ribs, F, another shade. And quick match, fair charge, Juliet, relay charge, kilo, delay element, L, and 
So, meron siyang short delay bago sumabog. Delay element. We have base block assembly. So, base block assembly. Shock absorbers. Most of our shock absorbers, shock absorbers may spring yan, di ba? Kaya pati sa motor, shock absorbers may spring. Shrouds. Papa. Quick thrust. Thrust spacer. Parachute. Releasing cup disc. Share. Tango. Cover releasing cup. Stabilizing sleeve. Hung wire. Handle assembly. Yan. Ah, so, handle. Siyempre, lahat ng handle hawakan. And the fin stiffener. And so, the fin stiffener. So, meron din siyang fin. This one is the fin, of course. Yan. The fin. Parang fish fin. So, what's the use of the fin? It is used to uh, prevent yawing, di ba? So, in your ballistics, you have the term yaw. Ano ba yung yaw? It refers to the tumbling of the bullet while in flight. Now, with the use of uh, these fins, it can stabilize the, the direction, the projection of the ammunition. So, pwede siyang uh, dumiretso na hindi siya magyayaw, hindi siya magatumbling. We also have here signal illumination ground green star cluster. So it has a firing cap, cork seal, so may susi binubuksan, cork seal, signal body, illuminant composition, the quick matches, cork sealing disc, and so ito yung firing pin. Delay charge, flexible steel fin, nozzle plug, initiating charge, plancher, primer, set backward, rocket motor propellant, assembly bolt, and expelling charge. So, these are how they look like. Signal smoke and illumination for aircraft. There for aircraft. MK8A1. For MK5 and mods. Rectangular lang siya. For player surface airport. M76. For flare aircraft parachute MK6 mod uh, mod 5. Flare aircraft parachute M138 aircraft. And for flare aircraft parachute M26A1. And so it's a different 
animations nila. So, rockets. These ammunitions are used for many purposes from anti-tank system. Okay? So, it, these are directed to tanks. To signaling. Ayan. So, it can be used also to signal. It is easily identified because it is normally constructed with fins. Ayan. So, meron siyang fins. So, paano yung malalaman na rocket yan? Meron siyang fins. For stabilization in flight. Ayan. So, stabilization in flight. And has rocket motor nozzles. Venturi at the end. Yan. So, meron siyang motor, nozzles at the end. Yan. So, yan. so, this one is a rocket motor at the end. So, pag ito umapoy, Yan, itutulak niya pa ito sa target. So, means to say, this will be projected by, let's say for example, an aircraft. So, sasabog to until such time na maubos yung pressure nito. Yan, ito na lang maiiwan. Ito na lang tatama. So, meron siyang laman na explosives, the warhead. So, rocket. Rockets. It has fins. And, bomb. Any high, we are not referring to C4 bombs, okay? We are referring to drop bombs and bomb. Any high explosive, chemical, pyrotechnic, or practice munitions designed for aerial delivery. Yan, okay? So, aerial delivery means to say, uh, yung in inihuhulog ng mga aircraft na bombs. Yan. So, it also has a fin. It contains high explosives. So, take note, ladies and gentlemen, that high explosives may explode even without container. Yan. Reinforced noise. It has the noose, the nose or the fuse. So, ladies and gentlemen, this nose or fuse acts as the initiator. So, ito yung pagkatumama sa lupa. Yan. Siya yung mag-initiate ng pagsabog ng propellant. So, tinitignan nyo, mas mataba si bombs compared kay rockets. We also have here dispensers, a container or device used to carry and release submunitions. Sub so, dispensers ang tawag doon. Okay? So, it carries submunitions. So, we have here dispense munitions. Our munitions dispensed from a dispenser. So, this one here is a dispenser. Okay. So, this one will be the dispensed munitions. So, it has fused arming wire extractor. Suspension lugs, fin release wire extractor. So if you fu pull this, these fins will be released. The fuse cover assembly, color brand, a uh, color band, fuse setting dial observation window. So, probably dito natin makikita kung may time uh, limit siya. 
and this is how your dispenser looks like well, so it carries the dispense emissions and while being propelled it will dispense the dispense emissions so mag open siya tapos yan may iwan yung mga dispense emissions So we have here the nose element and fusing system. Pins, base fuse of fusing system. Another dispenser. And this is how their parts looks like. So we have lots of different types of dispensers. We also have land mines. So used for bobby traps. Bobby traps. So explosive items planted in the path of the enemy to hinder movement or deny access to certain territory. Okay? So it, these are used to deny access to a certain territory or to stop or to hinder movement enemy movement placement is generally concealed so when we say concealed nakatago dapat so that their location cannot be found or until initiated by the enemy presence contact or command fire Yan. so ganyan dapat ang landmine hindi dapat naka hindi dapat nakikita nakatago dapat until initiated by the enemy. So, how do they initiate? So, meron tayong wire. Pwede yun. Pag nasagi nila yung wire, sasabog. Kaya, pag naapakan nila, sasabog. Yan. So, this one here uses wire. Yan. And so, pag nasagi yung wire, sasabog. Ito naman yung mga naapakan na mines. We also have guided missiles. These are rockets with guidance and control system incorporated therein that guides it to the target after being launched. It uses heat seekers, radar, laser. Yan. Okay, so it detects heat. Kung saan may heat, sinasalubog niya. Essentially the same type of warheads found on the modern rockets are used in guided missiles such as high explosives, fragment, heat, chemical, and nuclear. So, guided missiles. So, this is the component of your missile. It has the warhead section. It has the motor section. So, parang rocket lang talaga your fin control section the tracer and the guidance section We also have demolition materials. When we say demolition, it is aimed at destroying structure, di ba? These munitions include the various demolition blocks such as TNT, trinitrotoluene, and plastic compositions. Also found within this group are devices used in setting up demolition system. These include the fuse, detonating cord, blasting caps, and firing devices with detonators. So, these are all demolition materials. So, it includes detonators, blasting caps, detonating cord, fuse. We have here the demo blocks, TNT. 
we have the flakes or cast. So we have also here the pentyri, pentyri, ri, tol, ang, hi, ang hirap ipunaus, na PTN, penta, erect, ri, tol, tetra, nitrate, yes, so tetra, nitrate, PTN, penta, erect, ri, penta, erect, ri, tol, tetranitrate penta erectritol tetranitrate so it has instead of black white and gray in short PETN penta erectritol tetranitrate so it has cyclo trimethyl trimethyl or RDX RDX na lang it also have again petril compi and picric acid so the picric acid is color yellow yung, your compi looks like brown stone uh, palinang, looks like palinang. And your detonators. So we have your electric blasting caps and non-electric blasting caps. So your electric blasting caps uses cables and batteries, while your non-electric blasting caps makes use of an impact or a fire. Ito yung pang-trigger nila. We have here the military time fuse. Then the commercial safety fuse. We have here classifications of ammunition. The type or the physical characteristics, the standardization, use, form, and kind of filler. So we have to discuss classification of ammunition according to type. So whether or not small arms or artillery, grenades or landmines, rockets, jato, bombs, dispenser, dispense munitions, Pyrotechnics, guided missiles, and demolition materials. Okay, so this is how we classify ammunition according to type. So, what type of ammunition is your 9mm ammo? We call it small arms. So maybe we have five minutes break. And so let's assume. According to standardization, we have adapted category or obsolete category. So when you say obsolete cate category, and then mga nagamit World War II. According to use, we have for service, yan, for military use, we have for practice or training use, and drill or dummy, still for training, schooling, or practice use. So according to form, we have the fixed, we have the semi-fixed, we have the separated, and we have the separate loading. 
we have here ammunition identification. Generally, ammunition is identified by printing and marking, which include the following. So, the model, the lot numbers, so in, we are not referring to land, okay, lot numbers. The federal stock number, the DODIC, the, do, the DODAC, nomenclature, and color coding. So, parang yung kanina, di ba? Uh, dark green is for military use. We have here small arms ammunition consists of cartridges of various types and sizes used by the following. So, rifles except recoilless type. Revolvers, pistols, carbines, machine guns, and shotguns. So these are again under small arms. So the standard sizes are caliber 22, revolver, caliber, caliber 38, 7.62 mm for rifle, caliber 30 carbine, caliber 30 rifle, and machine gun, and machine gun in MG. We have caliber 45 pistol, caliber 50 hand machine gun. We have caliber 5.56, so ito yung ating Armalite, and 20 mm. 30 mm. So small arms cartridges are based on the type of case and are classified as wedding center fire. So what are center fire? The primer is located in the small well or socket in the center of the cartridge case base center fire yon. So parang yung Head stamp, head stamp or base, head stamp dapat yun, hindi kasi head. Mostly ang head kasi, we are referring to the bullet itself. Eh. Yan. So center fire, saan makikita yung center fire? Nasa gitna yung ating priming mixture. So pag kayong, pag kayong ating firing pin, hit the edges of the base or the head stamp, or the head stamp is, it will not explode. Not unless, the firing pin hits the center. Okay? So, kaya doon na siya sasabog pag sa center na tumama. Yan ang center fire naman. We also have the rim fire. The priming mixture is loaded in the flat rim at the base of the cartridge case. So, means to say, yung rim fire natin, when uh, whichever portion was hit by the firing pin, sasabog yan. Diba? So, that's your rim fire. Unlike center fire, Sasabog lang siya pagka yung sentro lang ang natamaan. Pero pagka sa gilid ang natamaan ni firing pin, hindi yan sasabog. So, an example of our center for ammunition are the 9mm, caliber 30, caliber 45, and all of our rifles. So, ano naman yung rimfire? Uh, caliber 22. Rimfire yan. Maski sa ang base ng caliber 22 ammunition, ang tamaan ni firing pin, sasabog yan. So, types uses construction and identification, combat and non-combat. So, we have here combat service ammunition. We have AP, armor piercing. We have grenade cartridge. We have armor piercing incendiary, the API. We have incendiary. We have tracer and we also have the ball. So for non-combat, special ammunition, we have the blank ammunition. So when we say blank ammunition, ulit, sila yung mga ammunition na uh, puputok, pero walang bala, di ba? Unlike your dummy, meron siyang bala, meron siyang shell, pero walang gunpowder. So we have the high pressure test. 
child pressured a weapon. Yan. We have the dummy. Match shooting competition. So we have the ammunition for shooting competition. So mostly pagka pang shoot, pang shooting competition, ah, uh, medyo mas magaan ang recoil. Frangible for shooting. So we have here artillery ammunitions. So the artillery ammunition falls into four general configurations. So we have times as having fixed, semi-fixed, and others. So fixed, the complete round has the cartridge case permanently crimped to the projectile containing a non-adjustable propelling charge and a primer. And so non-adjustable propelling charge. Diba? So fixed. Your semi-fixed, the cartridge case is loose, fitted over the base of the projectile. The propelling charge is separately bagged in the cartridge case and is adjustable for the desired range. So semi-fixed. While you're fixed, permanently crimp. You're semi-fixed, adjustable. We also have the separate loading. The primed adjustable propelling charge and the projectile come unassembled and are loaded separately into the weapon. So, magkaiba. And we also have the separated. It consists of a sealed primed cartridge case containing non-adjustable amounts of propellant within specific cases. By choosing a certain case, one can thus adjust distance. So it contains non-adjustable amounts of propellant with specific cases. So, grenades, we have small offensive or defensive munitions, originally designed to be thrown by the hand, but is now also designed to be projected from rifles, so rifle grenades, special launchers, M206 grenade launchers, and dispensing munitions. So, method or projection, how the grenade gets to the target. So, hand, hand thrown. So, when we say rifle, it is propelled by gas from the cartridge used with the adapter on the standard rifle. So, we also have a special rocket propelled grenade fired from a special launcher designed especially for the purpose. We also have here effects and or filler of function. We have the fragmentation defensive. It inflicts casualties by fragments. Okay? So, kaya, kaya siya fragmentation grenade kasi atis type yung atis type. Yung fragments niya tatama. Diba? So, yun ang tatama sa kalaban. Fragmentation. We also have the blast for offensive grenade. It inflicts, inflicts casualties to anyone with in over pressure blast radius, so within the radius. And we also have the high explosive anti tank or the heat. It fits armor by you by the use of shape charge or monroe effect. Anti tank, okay? heat, high explosive anti tank. It is directed against tanks. We also have the riot control grenade, use of tear or vomiting agents, or the tear gas. Diba? Anti riot. We also have the smoke grenade, it contains white phosphorus, bursting pyrotechnic burning. So 
So white phosphorus smoke grenade yan. And uh, for your information, white phosphorus, ladies and gentlemen, are also uh, can also burn with the introduction of light. Yan, yan yung white phosphorus. Pagka, let's say for example, pagka nasinagan ng araw yan, kahit na hindi mo sinindihan, magsusunog yan. White phosphorus yan. We also have incendiary, designed to burn, start fires. And so, pagka tumama, sumabog, mag-start ng apoy. We also have practice or training grenade, usually resembles actual ordnance size, shape, and weight. May be painted blue and some can contain a small amount of explosives. Yan. So, it has small amount of explosive. It weighs similar but the color is blue. So, we have here three main components of grenades. We have the body, the filler, and the fuse. So, the body contains filler. May be made of steel, cast iron, rubber, plastic, or pottery. While the filler are composed of high explosives, riot control agents, and smoke. The white phosphorus. Your fuse, the part of the grenade used to initiate the explosive train. Yeah, so fuse, yeah. Diba? Used to initiate the explosive train. Kaya ako minsan, yung sinisindihan, di ba? Fuse yun. So, landmines. Explosive items planted in the path of the enemy to hinder movement or deny access to certain territory. Placement is generally concealed so that their location cannot be detected until initiated by the enemy's presence, contact, or command fire. So we have uh, three types of mine minefields. We have the delivery. Deliberately placed and commonly placed individual or in cross-country groupings. The special landmines are normally improvised and placed to attack special targets or situations. Examples are railroads, trains, or troop routes. Yeah, so special landmines. We also have the scatterable. It can be skate, can be scattered. It's scatterable. Delivered by artillery, mm -hmm. aircraft, missile, ground dispenser, or thrown by hand. They are laid without regard to pattern. Yan, so, kahit walang pattern, unlike you deliver it, pwede may pattern. Can be used for both offensive and defensive. So, we have here four main components of landmines. First on the list is the body. So, it is, the, it is referring to the container. For the use and main explosive charge, mine bodies can be made of wood, glass, or plastic, designed as non-metallic or non-detectable. So explosive charge, it provides the energy necessary for the mine to inflict the desired damage or effect on the target. So the explosive charge, the black powder, or so on. And we also have the fuse. It has S symbol sometimes used, usually activated by a direct force from the target, which is transformed into an internal action to detonate the mine. And so fuse. And other components not directly part of the landmine, but necessary for the system, which includes connectors, adapters, carrying case, demolition wire, attachment kits, and blasting machines. It also includes here your cable, di ba? Attached to the fuse or to the initiator. So, the landmine classification are, are as follows. We have anti-personnel or the AP. We have anti-vehicle, AV. We have anti-tank, AT mines. We have inert. We have harassment, 
minds, we have practice minds, we have training and improvised minds. So how do we care, handle, and preserve munitions? So small arms ammunition is comparatively safe to handle. So okay lang ang safe arms ammunition. It is packed to withstand transportation, handling, and storage conditions normally encountered in the field. Okay, so that's how we handle, care, and preserve small arms. Okay lang yung small arms, no? wala, wala tayong masyadong problema. Special precautions. Never use oil or grease on small arms cartridges. Oil or grease might produce excessive and hazardous chamber pressure in weapons when fired and cause damaging abrasive to collect in automatic weapons. Okay? So, we shall not use grease or oil on small cartridges. Whenever practicable, store small arms ammunition under cover. So, dapat may takit. Avoid moisture. This applies particularly to tracer and shotgun ammunition. So, that ends our discussion on the introduction to ammunition. So, our topic for next meeting will be Introduction to uh, Explosives and Explosives. We are dismissed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. See you next meeting.